Welcome back to the Silver Money Masterclass Series, a program aimed at teaching you how to navigate the ever-evolving world of money and how you can find ways to protect and grow your wealth. This three-part series analyzes many angles of today's economy, touching on the evolution of money, which we covered in our first episode, the value of real assets like gold and silver covered in our second episode, and if, if you've missed either of those, go ahead and click on the links in the description to catch up. And finally, today we'll be looking at how gold and silver are making their comebacks as money thanks to emerging technologies. Despite the despair that comes about during global financial crises and the fact that there's a lot of uncertainty in our world today, we are witnessing an emergence of a new way of thinking. It encourages people to question the status quo and to think critically about the mismanagement of financial systems that plague the world today. Essentially, the fog has been lifted. At the peak of the 2009 downturn, we saw the emergence of a new form of money, a money that was borderless, decentralized, that lived solely in the digital realm. I'm talking, of course, of Bitcoin. The granddaddy of cryptocurrency had no owner, no major entity controlling it, and Bitcoin lived on what is known as a blockchain. This technology not only transformed money and the way we store information, settle contracts, and so much more. It was Bitcoin that sparked a movement that still lives on today, where people realized that they could have control over the monetary system that runs the financial world. People weren't forced to accept a system as it is anymore. Again, disrupting the status quo. So, instead of having centralized entities control the value of money, the power was put back into the hands of the people. The power dynamics have forever been shifted. So what is a blockchain? How does it work? And how has it caused this power shift? Well, it's a complicated subject, but the simplest way to describe a blockchain is that it's a, an open and distributed ledger that can record transactions between two parties efficiently and in a permanent and verifiable way. This information is verified and stored in blocks, and as transactions continue, more blocks are added to the chain, hence the term blockchain. The beauty of this technology? Well, once recorded, information becomes immutable and cannot be modified or manipulated. And because blockchain data is spread and stored across many computers across the world, each of which have a copy of the blockchain's data, it is difficult, if not impossible, to alter. Each block needs to be verified over multiple sources before a new block can be added to the chain. If ever there's a discrepancy in the information, the blockchain will not allow it. The data speaks for itself. It isn't being controlled by a single authority. It's truly decentralized. Thanks to this technology, money has been elevated to a new form and its value no longer dictated by governments and financial institutions. Instead, value is stored on an independent, decentralized and transparent global and safe digital network. Now let's go back to our global financial crisis. In response to the upheaval, governments around the world decided to print more fiat currency, more dollars, more euros, more yen, uh, just like we discussed in episode two. This was known as quantitative easing, a monetary policy that as a result has caused the purchasing power of your currency to go down. And as economic theory goes, the larger the supply, the lower the price. So as more dollars are printed and dumped into the economy, the value of your dollar will just continue to plummet. That is why during that time, people anticipated hyperinflation and devaluation of major fiat currencies. And what did these forward thinkers do in response? They look to assets that held true intrinsic value over time, like gold, like silver, and now like Bitcoin. In fact, both metals surged in demand to the point where they hit all-time highs. People needed a way to protect their wealth after realizing how fragile the money that they presently held truly was. Gold and silver are not subject to the same devaluation risk as fiat currencies or even cryptocurrencies. Instead, they act as solid hedges against inflation so that during the crisis and crises in general, people have flocked to these safe havens like never before.
As seen in previous episodes, gold and silver have been around for millennia, but they've lost their status as currency uh, as fiat currencies came onto the scene. Although in modern history, physical metals have lost their status as money and are looked more like in long-term investments rather than currencies, blockchain technology is once again shifting that mindset, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Let's take another look at cryptocurrencies now, which by definition are digital currencies run on a blockchain, the most popular of which is Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of Bitcoin, learned about blockchain technology, which was solely being used to store records and information and instead utilized this technology to elevate money. He thought that if there was a way to decentralize the way information is shared and stored, there would certainly be a way to decentralize transactions. That is essentially how Bitcoin came to be a truly transparent, decentralized currency running on the blockchain. However, what he hadn't accounted for was the volatility. Bitcoin prices spiked, then dipped, then spiked, then dipped, spiked, then dipped again, and are just too unpredictable to be considered true or consistent money. The same goes for all other cryptocurrencies that were born after Bitcoin, and there are thousands of them. People like the idea of a digital currency that is decentralized and running on this technology, but they are today still afraid of that instability. And that is when people got together to forge a new type of currency, a stable coin backed by something tangible which held real value but was still on the blockchain. Enter the stable coin. Cryptocurrencies backed and built on blockchains but are supported by real assets like gold, silver, real estate, and so on. And even in some cases, a basket of the most trusted fiat currencies from around the globe. Because blockchains enable secure, bureaucracy-free, cheaper, borderless transactions in a matter of seconds, people are now diving deeper into how the technology could serve the global financial system. Projects emerged that backed digital tokens with physical gold and silver and garnered much attention from investors, especially those already involved in the precious metals and mining industries. Precious metals investors were already used to this idea of paper, gold, and silver with many gold-backed and silver-backed investment vehicles already in existence. It was the need to make gold and silver more mobile that really sparked the creation of new products. But these new products were controlled by a central authority and not as efficient or transactable. People weren't able to take their paper, gold, and silver and spend it at the grocery store, for example. They first needed to take it and convert it back into fiat currencies before being able to utilize it. Distributed ledger technology, however, has allowed gold and silver to make a comeback as real, spendable means of trading commerce, as money. People want a way to save and spend their gold and silver as money, and the blockchain makes that possible. The technology gives these metals the attributes needed to return to the forefront as currency, portability, durability, divisibility, fungibility, and the most important of all, stability over time. One other feature of blockchain technology that is worth noting here is its speed. Because the technology is decentralized and can countless computers are working together around the clock to ensure the information is accurate, it ends up being a very efficient process that effectively cuts out the middleman. What's more is because we've cut out the middleman, the fees for these transactions are actually significantly lower than traditional financial industries because there isn't a third party taking a cut. Imagine a world where your gold and silver can be spent in seconds without having to experience insurmountable fees or extreme volatility or subject to collapse due to instability within government. A world where there is no longer a need to find a buyer in order to redeem paper, gold or silver and turn them into fiat currencies. Well, this is no longer a pipe dream. It's now possible for anybody to get their hands on real digital gold and silver, the true borderless secure forms of money that can protect your wealth over time. Money 2.0, so to speak. Here at The Load Project, we have spent years turning this dream into reality and now have completed the creation of a comprehensive economic system that allows for all forms of currency payment and instant settlement in digital gold and silver, all doable and manageable on a mobile app that you control the private keys to. That's right, your pockets are about to get a whole lot shinier, but not a lot heavier. The Load Project is building the first Honest Money ecosystem with its three token platform, the Load Token, the Gold-backed AUX coin, and the Silver-backed AGX coin. The third asset we'd like to talk about here is the Load Token. Community members can 
invest their gold and silver into one of Lode's vaults and in return receive these Lode tokens. Now we take that uh, silver and gold which has been deposited into the vault and tokenize it into our AGX and AUX. Now, the AUX coin is the digital gold money we've been talking about. Each coin is backed by one milligram of pure gold. The AUX can be spent anywhere with participating merchants, online retail, and so on and so forth. And the same applies to AGX, except AGX is backed by one gram of pure, audible, and insured silver. And what's more is these assets are redeemable. You have the capacity to get your hands on the physical tangible metal if you so choose. So essentially, gold and silver are making a comeback. So now you have to ask yourself, what kind of money do you actually want to hold? Do you want a currency that is unreliable and not backed by anything that will go down in value over time and depreciate? A cryptocurrency, which is essentially like, you know, gambling and may go up and may go down with no idea of which way it's, the wind's blowing? Or something like gold and silver that has proven stability? The choice is yours. We encourage you to learn more about the Load Project, which has been active since 2017 and continues to grow, being active now in over a hundred different countries. It's the return of honest money, a movement aimed and backed by a vocal community of people who want to get more out of their wealth. The true driving force behind the Load Project is this, financial freedom for all. Uh, we invite you to join Load today and learn more about the project by looking over our project paper, downloading the mobile wallet and getting started. All of the resources you need are in the description below. So get started today and begin your switch to a better future. And thank you for joining us on the Silver Money Masterclass.